In today's video, we're going to be talking all about screen printing, what to expect when you get your, sh your shirt screen printed, and what you need to ask your screen printers, and we're going to start right after this intro. Damn, that's a lot of tongue twist. What's good everybody, Mark here from Attack Clothing, and I'm here to share with you guys what I learned when I started my clothing brand. So if you guys are interested in starting a side hustle, or maybe want to learn more about selling t-shirts, creating a brand, and growing your social media, consider subscribing. Now, if the demand for your products are increasing, and you're getting a lot of orders, you're probably ready to go to the print shop and get your shirt screen printed. If you don't know what screen printing is, it's basically when your design is burned into a mesh screen and ink is forced through it directly on your shirt. The process going through a screen printer is the traditional way of getting your designs on your shirts. If your demands are increasing more than you can supply them, it is better to go to a screen printer. When you go to a screen printer, you usually need a vector file of your design. A vector file is basically turning your designs into shapes that can be scaled into whatever size, big or small, and won't lose quality. Usually, you can do this with a software program like Adobe Illustrator. The screen printer needs this because if you have a design and you want it huge on the t-shirt, then they need to scale that up. And if you don't have it vectorized, then the image will be pixelated on your shirt. If you're going for that Minecraft look, go ahead. You also want to send them a mock-up file of what you want the t-shirt going to look like. This is gonna be good for both of you guys so the screen printer knows exactly what you want. Now you can get a blank t-shirt template online, then do a mock-up on Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. If you don't know how to vector your design or make a template, hire someone or learn it. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make a video where you can hire graphic designers. So once they get your image, you're gonna to have to let them know the size you want. This is really a personal choice and based on what you think is going to look good on the t-shirt. Then they will burn this on a mesh screen and it will depend on how many colors you have on your design. Screen printers usually charge extra per screen they use so keep that in mind. This is not including a primer if it's a dark t-shirt. And if you got a bunch of colors on your design, expect that price of that specific job is going to be expensive. Also if you're going to be working with a brand new screen printer then they usually charge an initial setup fee. You can buy blank t-shirts through your screen printers. They usually have accounts with different manufacturers, so they have a variety of selections. Just let them know what brand of t-shirts you're looking for and they either have it or some sim something similar to it. Now they'll probably charge you a little extra to make a little bit of money too. The way most print shop work is the more units you order, the cheaper the whole order will be. For example, if they quote you $8 per shirt for that 24 units, it'll go down to five bucks per shirt if you order 50 units. So if you know you can sell 50 or more shirts, then go to a screen printer and save time and money. To save more money, you can get your own blanks using your wholesale license and bring them to your screen printer. Now keep in mind, it's best to have one or two extra t-shirts with your order. These are gonna be your burner shirts. Sometimes there's tests and spillage that can happen, accidents, and if you wanna have a couple of burners just in case. Oh, and before I forget, when you're talking to the screen printer about pricing and all that stuff, make sure you let them know that you want a proof sample. You wanna see the final product before they run the rest of your order. You don't wanna end up with 50 shirts and realize that the size of your design is too small and now you're stuck with the 50 shirts you can't sell. Get approved sample. Anyways, make sure to shop around your local screen printers who has the best price, quality, turnaround times, and all that stuff. Well, that's it guys. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. See y'all into the next one. Peace.